Picture yourself standing at the ocean's edge, barefoot, on a beach. The sun warms your skin. The wind carries the salty breath of the sea. Your toes curl into the sand, soft, golden, warm. You dig a little deeper, and the warmth fades. Suddenly, the sand turns cool, damp. It feels like something ancient lives below. It's easy to take sand for granted. After all, it's everywhere. From beaches to deserts, construction sites to hourglasses. But have you ever stopped to wonder what's beneath it? Is it just sand, or all the way down? Or does it hide something else? Something lost, buried, or forgotten? Beneath these shifting grains could lie ancient forests, hidden lakes, even the bones of lost civilizations. And sometimes, what's buried in the sand tells a story more surprising than what's above it. To understand what lies beneath, we need to grasp just how much sand surrounds us. Scientists once estimated that Earth's beaches hold over 7.5 quintillion grains of sand. That's a seven, followed by 18 zeros. Each one a fragment of something much older. But sand isn't just debris. It's a time capsule. And if you know where to look, it becomes a doorway to the hidden layers of our planet. Today, we're digging deep, beneath the beaches, beneath the deserts. We'll discover how entire cities vanish beneath dunes and learn why archaeologists call sand nature's time machine. We'll even examine the lost lake Megachad. This is the story of lost civilizations, buried ecosystems, and the surprising science of what's hidden under sand. So, what exactly is sand? It may seem simple, just tiny rocks, right? But the truth is far more fascinating. Sand is the result of destruction and the beginning of something new. It's made when larger rocks break down into smaller and smaller fragments, shattered by wind, water, ice, and time itself. But not all sand is created equal. Beach sand is usually made of quartz, the second most abundant mineral in Earth's crust. It often contains shell fragments, pieces of coral, mollusks, even fish bones, polished smooth by the ocean. Every wave that hits the shore is like a giant rock tumbler, grinding and rolling debris into grains so small you can barely see them. It takes hundreds of thousands of years to create the soft, familiar sand beneath your feet. Each grain is a record of an epic journey. Desert sand, on the other hand, is born in a completely different world. There's no ocean, no waves, no salt air. Instead, it's wind and extreme temperature that do the shaping. During the day, the sun bakes the desert floor. At night, temperatures plummet. These dramatic shifts cause rocks to expand and contract, over and over again. Eventually, they fracture, splintering into smaller pieces. Then comes the wind. It lifts the grains, sculpts towering dunes, carries dust across continents, and carves entire landscapes. So whether it's shaped by waves or wind, heat or frost, sand is more than just sediment. It's a storyteller. Each grain holds a memory of the forces that created it. And now that we understand what sand is, it's time to ask the real question. What lies beneath it? We've all done it, digging a hole at the beach, just to see how far we can go. At first, it's easy. The sand is soft, dry, light. You scoop and toss, scoop and toss. But then something changes. The sand turns damp, cool heavy. You've reached the water table. The water table is the level where the ground becomes completely saturated with water. It's like an invisible underground river flowing silently beneath your feet. This water level depends on many factors. Rainfall, season, soil type. Some beaches have a high water table just inches below the surface. Others lie much deeper. And the deeper you go, the more the sand fights back. It compacts, densifies. The grains press tighter together, resisting your hands and shovel. 
If you could keep digging, you'd eventually strike something solid. Bedrock. Bedrock is the ancient foundation of our planet. It lies beneath soil, sediment, and sand, beneath everything we see. Depending on where you are, it might be granite, limestone, or volcanic basalt. But no matter the type, it's incredibly old, often hundreds of millions of years old. This rock has witnessed ice ages, earthquakes, even continents drifting across the globe. It holds the scars of Earth's entire history, and yet it lies quietly beneath our vacation towels and sandcastles. So that's what lies beneath the beach, layers of sand, flowing groundwater, and the ancient bones of Earth itself. But beaches are just one part of the story. Let's head somewhere drier, hotter, more mysterious. Let's go to the desert. When you picture a desert, what comes to mind? Endless dunes, shifting sands, a golden ocean of silence. And it's true. Some deserts look exactly like that. But here's what might surprise you. Most deserts aren't made of sand at all. Take the Sahara Desert, the largest hot desert on Earth. It stretches over 9 million square kilometers. That's roughly the size of the entire United States, but only about 20% of the Sahara is covered in sand dunes. The rest? Gravel plains, bare rock, and flat, cracked expanses called Hamada. These landscapes are harsh and dry, often completely lifeless. But they're far from empty. Where sand does collect, it can reach breathtaking heights. Some dunes in the Sahara tower over 590 feet, taller than the Sydney Opera House. But even the tallest dunes are just a surface layer. Beneath them, the sand eventually gives way to hardpan, a dense layer of compacted soil. And below that, once again, bedrock. Just like the beach, the desert sits on a foundation carved over millions of years. But deserts hold much deeper secrets. In 2010, Scientists discovered the remains of a prehistoric mega-lake hidden beneath the Sahara. They called it Lake Megachad. Yes, that's really its name. This ancient lake covered 400,000 square kilometers, larger than modern-day California. It formed when the Nile River shifted course, spilling into a giant basin. For thousands of years, it sustained lush plants, diverse animals, and thriving human communities. Today, all that remains is sand. The Sahara has transformed many times, from lush grassland to desert and back again. These dramatic shifts are tied to Milankovitch cycles, changes in Earth's orbit and tilt that affect climate on a massive scale. In other words, beneath today's sand lies evidence of a green Sahara, a lost world still buried beneath the dunes. The Green Sahara's hidden civilizations. That Green Sahara may hold the remnants of lost human civilizations, some forgotten, some legendary. Among them, traces of ancient Egypt and the people who came before. Thousands of years before, the first pyramids rose along the Nile. The Sahara was alive. It was green. It had rivers, lakes, and grasslands stretching as far as the eye could see. And people lived there. They hunted, fished, painted stories on cave walls. In southern Egypt and northern Sudan, archaeologists have discovered buried settlements, entire villages swallowed by sand over millennia. These early cultures built structures crafted tools, and created art long before the Egyptian dynasties we know today. Even pyramid-like tombs have been found beneath Sudan's sands, structures from the Kingdom of Kush, once rivals and rulers of Egypt itself. Some lie in ruins, half buried. Others remain completely untouched, waiting to be uncovered. And every so often, Satellite images or shifting desert winds reveal something new. A foundation here, a lost road there. Faint outlines of what once was. It's tempting to think of deserts as dead places, 
But the truth is, they're more like sleeping giants, holding onto the past just beneath the surface. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, press the subscribe button, and also drop your thoughts in the comments section.